Never before in football history had an expansion team come so far, so fast. The six-year-old Dolphins were in the big one, the Super Bowl. Only two short years ago, they had the worst record of any team in the AFL, and now they were only one step away from the lofty pinnacle of success. The Super Bowl had taken on such tremendous prestige that each game was now identified with Roman numerals, just like World Wars. This was Super Bowl VI, and the Dolphins were about to take on the Cowboys of Dallas. Pressure was the key to this game, everyone insisted. Dallas had been here before, losing last year in the final frustrating seconds. They knew what it was like, but the Dolphins had been to Kansas City. That was pressure with a capital P. Speculation and debate continued till kickoff time. Then there was nothing to do but play football. We're ready to go. The crescendo build from the crowd. The white handkerchief being waved. Here's Clark forward. Gets the toe into it. It's high. It's not too deep. Morris will grab it at the six. Straight ahead of the 10. 15 to the 20. Breaks for the far side. Shakes off a tackle and is knocked down at the 25, the 26 yard line. Mercury Morris with a 20 yard return and the tackle made by Cliff Harris. In the opening minutes, Miami's precision zone pass protection and swarming pass rush had Roger Staubach stymied. Staubach up under center, first down from their 34-yard line. Drops straight back to throw, sets up. He is being rushed, Fernandez has got him, lands him for a loss, back at the 28-yard line. Staubach dropping straight back to throw, sets up, being rushed again. He scrambles, he is dropped at the 33, 34-yard line by Jim Riley. Staubach, play action, fakes the handoff, back to throw. Being rushed, gets away again, stumbles. Still being pursued, and he is really rapid catch back at the 37-yard line. Jim Riley and Bob Hines in this Dolphin defense has been magnificent so far. Then the Dolphins began to mount a drive. On the Miami 42, Greasy called on Zonka to sweep right. Here's the handoff. Zonka's first carry. Sweep to the right behind Little. Finds a hole. 45, 50. Dragging tacklers with him down to the 46-yard line. Big Zonk rambles for the first first down of the ball game. On the next play, Greasy called for Zonka again. Then an incredible thing happened. Zonka, who had gained over a thousand yards during the year without fumbling one, finally did. First down. Dolphins at the Cowboy 46. Our first penetration of the afternoon. 20 splits to the far side. Warfield to the near side. The backs are in an eye. Behind Greasy. Waiting for the snap from center. Long count at the line of scrimmage. Here's Grease. Hand off on the trap. A fumble! Who's got it? Cowboys at their 48-yard line. Howley's recovery stopped what looked to be a sure scoring drive and gave momentum to the Cowboy offense. Dallas marched downfield but couldn't crack the Dolphins' goal line defense. All right, Staubach sets his ball club. Third down and goal from the two. He fakes the handoff, swings a pass out at the five. It is caught by Thomas. Is he going to get in? No, he is stopped at the two-yard line. So it brings up a fourth down at the two-yard line, and the field goal team comes in. Mike Clark will try it. Snap set down, the kick is up, and it's good. The Cowboys had drawn first blood. The Dolphins were wounded but continued the fight. Dallas was cutting off their offensive strength and picking away at their defense. Then with only one minute, 15 seconds remaining in the half, Dallas scored again. First and goal for the seven, Staubach set, fires, it is caught, touchdown. Lance Allworth, he got just inside the flag and got inside Curtis Johnson down here in the corner. He got just inside the flag as they slanted on a flag pattern to the near corner, down at the northwest corner, and Allworth got inside and across the goal line on Johnson as Staubach hit him with a strike, and the Cowboys now move out to a 9 to nothing lead with a minute and 15 seconds left to go in this first half. The Dolphins fought desperately to get on the scoreboard before halftime and finally succeeded. The Dolphins have not been able to do anything offensively against this doomsday defense on the snap. Reese back to throw. Sets up, has time, fires the middle. It is caught by Twilly. 40 up across the 45 and down at the 48 yard line. First and five. Greasy back to throw. Sets. Fires. It is caught. Down at the 25 to the 24 yard line. And so we're going to have to settle for a field goal as the premium comes in. Waiting for the snap with eight seconds to go in the half. Here it is. Set down. The kick is up. He's got the distance and the height. It's perfect. Yepremian gets us on the board with eight, uh, four seconds to go before the end of the half, and the white handkerchiefs are very much in evidence 
here at the Sugar Bowl for the first time this afternoon. The first half ended with a score, Dallas 10, Miami 3. But for the Dolphins, the second half never really began. The Cowboys scored twice more and completely shut down the Miami offense in the final 30 minutes. As Super Bowl VI came to an end, Dallas walked away with the prize that had avoided them for years, and Miami's dream was crushed. But even the gloom of Super Sunday couldn't overshadow the glories and the triumphs of the season past. During the incredible campaign of 71, this young, talented team proved to the football world that they are a team to be reckoned with for years to come. Although the record book will show that Dallas won the Super Bowl and Miami was number two, you couldn't tell that to any of the thousands of cheering fans who greeted the Dolphins at the Miami airport on the day after. I want you to hear a word from our uh, managing general partner, Joe Robbie, and then we'll talk to Don Shula and, and our ball club. Joe? Ladies and gentlemen, we have come a long ways together in a short time. We still have a ways to travel. Yesterday's a part of the glorious past of the Miami Dolphins, but tonight and tomorrow are on the path to Super Bowl number seven. All right, here's the coach of the year, Don Shula. Thank you. You'll never know how much this reception means to myself, my family, our football players, and their families. The things that, that I'll remember the most are the, uh, the great win that our football players had against Kansas City. <laughs> and then the next week, here in Miami, that great pressure victory where we played almost perfect football against the Baltimore Colts in the American Football Conference Championship. And I can assure you with the tremendous fan support that we've had here in Miami, it just makes us so proud to represent the city of Miami with the Miami Dolphins football team. Thank you for your wonderful support. Thank you so much. Nick Bonacani. The only reason you really uh, see me smiling up here is because I'm just great to be back home, and thank God for that. Garrow, your premier. Next year, we're going to go out there and win more games, and we'll be more determined, and we'll bring the trophy back to Miami where it belongs. Thank you. Jeb Keck. You are definitely the best fans in the world. Howard Twilley. Thank you very much. I'd just like to say that we're real happy to be back in Miami and we really appreciate your support, not only right now, but all through the year. It's been a great season and of course we're real disappointed that it couldn't have been just a little bit better. 